you good to me? Oh, good, yeah. Yep. Do you want Joey to start? Yeah, jo yeah. Yep. I'll be easy with you on it. Um, well, John, I guess the first question will be, uh, how big has Ben's head been on the training track <laughs> since the last game? It hasn't been too bad, actually. He's, uh, he's a pretty level-headed guy, Benny Garuccio. He, uh, obviously, he was excited. I think he was just as excited because he scored. He hadn't scored for a long time. Um, but he deserved it. You know, look, he uh, helped us win the game, um, but it was an unbelievable goal. I, I still can't get over it. Every time I see it, I... I'm a little bit shocked on um, how he scored that. I don't think he would ever be able to do that again, not even in training. Has Alex been letting him know that it wouldn't have happened without his outside of the boot? Alex did mention about his ball. He mentioned it a few times that it was a good cross. So he uh, he said that you know he's, he made it happen, um, but uh, Benny you know had that icing on the cake. Coming out the game, three goals, it's the most you've scored in a single game so far this season, albeit it did take your left back popping up with a brace to do it. Is that something you're looking to build on in the coming weeks? Yeah, but we mentioned at the start of the season that it will take us time to click, uh, especially going forward, because we've got new players and you know they came in late, a couple of them, and getting used to each other. and. And so we, you know, we had to have that base, and that base has been good defensively. We've been strong, uh, not only at the back but throughout the whole team, and we've been creating chances. So it was, it was going to come. Uh, we've been creating good clear cut chances. So we weren't panicking. We knew that the goals will be there, and and we created a number of occasions again on the weekend. And, and it, thankfully this time we scored three, and we'll look to to keep on improving that side as well. Well, on the subject of conceding, two goals against the Wanderers, two goals against MacArthur. I mean, it's not a disaster or anything, you're still getting points, but is that just something you're just keeping an eye on, that multiple goals now in a few recent games? Yeah, not really. You know, we're, we're happy with the way we are defensively. There was a, a couple of things that we could have done better towards the end of the game. The first half, I don't think Wanderers had a chance. Um, and then the game changed a little bit when they got that penalty. And, you call that an opportunity or chance? I don't think it really is. It just, you know, it's one of those things that the ball hit Tamaki's hand, and he had no idea about it. And and then they gave him a lift, and and also that they started chasing the game. So not not really worried about our defensive structure. But internally, what is the mood in the camp? I mean, you're top of the table. If you win tomorrow, you go four points clear at top of the table. But it feels like you're simultaneously flying under the radar throughout the broader league, despite all this. What internally, how are you feeling about the season? I think the boys are starting to believe that we're we're, you know, we're always improving. We're looking to improve. And we're we're competing each game with uh, whoever's put in front of us, and and you know that we're building. So you know we're not talking about where we are on the table or where we want to be. Uh, everyone knows that. Every club wants to be there at the end of the season competing for silverware, so we're no different, but we're just focused on improving each game, each, uh, each training session. But you see the lift in the players, you see the confidence growing in the playing group, and that's important, and that comes with results. When you say they're starting to believe, they're starting to believe in what? The, the group as a whole, and, and believe in what we're doing, and believe in you know, the, the, the culture and, and whatever we're trying to build at this football club and the journey that we're on so you, you see that in the way that they're they're walking around the way that they're you know they're training the confidence that they have now um, some of the you know the sessions the intensity is just higher than normal and that's normal because you, you get confident when you win football games and you know we've played some difficult sides and we've been able to come out on top so that gives them that belief how do you manage this Another tight, really, really tight turnaround though, but three days this time. Yeah, a lot we have been. We make sure that uh, we check which players are ready to go, which players do back up well. Um, we've got some fit players, we've got some players that we believe that will have no issues with it, and others that might have uh, an issue. So we just have to see. We we'll probably make our final decision tomorrow, but um, at the moment, you know, we, we're used to it because we had it uh, in the past, so we'll be better for it this time around as well. How close is Alex to, I guess, delivering what you brought him in to do? He obviously had a slow start, but seems to be now well and truly up and running. Oh, we know that uh, there's there's a lot left in Alex, and but not only in Alex in the group because they we're understanding, he's understanding, the players are understanding the way we want to play, 
and uh, and how we were creating chances. I thought he was uh, that was his best performance on the weekend. Not only his goal, not only the ones that he set up, but his link up, the way he held the ball up, and that that adds a lot for us. So yeah, he's going to keep on improving, like the rest of the group will as well. Kind of pain missed with the sore foot, I think it was. How's he shaping up for tomorrow? Yeah. He he won't be available for tomorrow. Not sure exactly when he'll be available, but at the moment he's he's still out. So it, it's a loss, but it gives an opportunity for someone else. And Dylan Price played well. He uh, he came into the side. He, he showed he was very positive. Um, he's got lightning pace. I'd hate to be able to chase him. I, I don't know if uh, Rodwell will end up going off after chasing him because it was it was some foot race. Because Rodwell was pretty quick as well. So. Um, yeah, it's uh, unfortunate for Payne, but um, gives an opportunity for another player. With Dylan, I think there was notice one noticeable chance in the first half. He's got the ball around the halfway line, he's just knocked it into space and beat his man for pace getting in. But then the final product, the, the shot, the final pass just wasn't there yet. How does he add that to his game? No, he, he will get there. Uh, he's definitely got that. I've seen it in, in training a number of times, and now he'll bring it into games. There's no issue about that. He's a very good finisher. He's he's very calm in front of goals. So once he starts to play a few more minutes and games, and that will come into his game because he's he's definitely a good finisher. So hopefully tomorrow night will be a nice way to start. Sydney FC only played them 11 days ago. Is that an advantage? Oh, for you know both sides, yeah, yeah, for both sides, because we know each other back to front. And, and look, we know what Sydney FC are like. We know that they've been playing that, that way for a, a number of years. They're a good side, they've got quality players, and then it's not going to be an easy game, but you know we're looking forward to it because it's uh, another challenge for us. Did you ever need to go back through the tape to prepare yes. for this game, or do you yeah, just you do, always is it in the do. memory? You always do. You always go back through it because you want to show the players, because it's in my memory, but uh, the players... Uh, don't watch as much football as what us coaches do so you always have to remind them and show them what we did well what we can do a little bit better what they do um, how we will you know play against the, the opposition again so but looking forward to the game I think news like you asked has signed a new deal this morning um, I guess talks about the decision and the importance he, is, he has in this club yeah it's brilliant for not only the club, um, but also for Lockie because you know he's he's settled here, he's performing well, he's playing regular football. It's probably the first time in his career that he's really playing regular football, and and he's been outstanding for us. I know he, at the moment he hasn't scored any goals, but um, he's created quite a few goals. He's he's got four assists, but he's also creating a lot of chances, and his work rate on and off the ball is is uh, really outstanding for us and um, so we're happy that he's staying on and you know hopefully he can improve even more over the coming coming years what do you see as his his ceiling or or potential i mean he's obviously played ollie ruse do you expect to eventually see him as a consistent member of the soccer ruse? what do you sort of I hope so i hope future? so it's up to Lockie. he's uh, in an environment that he can actually improve and get to another level and um, don't really put a ceiling on it because it's like with us, we don't put a ceiling on where, you know, we want to end up. We just, you know, we need to work day in, day out and keep on improving. And it's no different for Lockie, for every individual. You know, we, uh, we don't want to say that, you know, I'm going to be at this level. We'll see how, you know, when you work, um, those things will come around. Good. Yeah. Perfect. Nice. Tim, did you want to ask the... Oh, yes. I had to uh, ask uh, for the guys who kick off, John. Um, yep. Would Archie Thompson have scored a uh, scorpion kick off that, like Ben <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen Archie do that. But uh, Archie scored plenty of goals. Um, I'm not sure Ben Garuccio would score five goals in a grand final like Archie. So I'll give that one to Archie. Scorpion kick, not so sure. I don't think he did in his career, so no. There's Ben walking around now saying he's got the most famous goal in Australian football or over, say, yourself in a, in a, in a pretty important penalty. Um, no, Benny hasn't mentioned that. Uh, I don't think he would dare to mention that. Uh, it's a, it was a great goal. It was way better than my penalty. I can say that, but not as important. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. Thanks, everyone.